Okay, so let's solve this problem. So find the geometric sequence that has four geometric means between negative 2 and 64. Now to solve this problem, to find the four geometric means, that's a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5, since this one is a geometric sequence, so therefore, we're going to use this formula, the a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the power n minus 1. Now, this a sub n is the last term, and since our last term is 64, therefore a sub n is 64. Then a sub 1, that's the first term, and the first term is negative 2, so a sub 1 is negative 2. Then n, n is the term of the last term. Now, since our a sub n is 64, and 64 is a sub 6, so therefore n is equal to 6. Then for r, that's the common ratio, or the ratio between the two consecutive terms. Since we don't have uh, two consecutive terms, so therefore r is unknown. Then substitute these values to this formula. So a sub n, that's 64, equals a sub 1, that's negative 2. Then r is unknown to the power n is equal to 6, then minus 1. Then divide this 1 by negative 2, divide by negative 2. So 64 divided by negative 2. That's negative 32, and 6 minus 1 is 5. Then to solve for r, we need to get the p root, because this one is r to the power 5, so we need to get the p root to solve for r, and the p root of a negative 32. So therefore, r is equal to negative 2, because the p root of negative 32 is equal to 2. Now, since r is equal to negative 2, so to solve for a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5, so just multiply this one to the first term to get a sub 2, so that's negative 2 times the common ratio, and that's positive 4. Then to solve for a sub 3, so this positive 4, times the common ratio, and that's negative 8. Then to solve for a sub 4, this negative 8, times uh, negative 2, that's the common ratio, that's positive 16. And for a sub 5, so this 16, times uh, the common ratio, that's negative 2, and that's 32. So these are the four geometric means between negative 2, and 64.